So I told you about my favorite uh, hotel experience, the Red Roof Inn. The weirdest hotel experience I've ever had in this last year is uh, I accidentally stayed at a sex hotel by myself <laughs> on accident. I, I booked it, I was using a booking app and the booking app gave a little blurb about the hotel and it said every room has a hot tub. And I was just like, hell yeah, daddy's about to take a soak this afternoon. <laughs> So I booked this hotel and I got there and uh, I, I realized it was a sex hotel. I called my friend, I told him I was staying there and he goes, you can't stay there, that's disgusting. People have had sex in that hotel room before. And I didn't know how to break the news to him that people <laughs> have sex in all of the hotel rooms. I don't know what kind of world he's living in where he thinks people are checking in over at the Super 8, like we're horny, but we can't do it here. We gotta keep this room nice for the next people. <laughs> So the room was wild. They made a lot of design choices that I don't see in normal hotel rooms. The first thing I saw was there was no windows. They chose to have no windows in the sex hotel. I assume for privacy, but it doesn't make sense to me because I've had sex before and every time I've done it, curtains were able to keep what was happening from the outside world. <laughs> but the people that designed this hotel, they were like, we, curtains aren't gonna cut it for what we have in mind. <laughs> we gotta get 10 inches of concrete between these freaks and the rest of humanity. <laughs> There's mirrors everywhere. Every single service had a mirror. The, the ceiling, walls, all mirrored. That's, that's because the hottest place you can do it is in front of a mirror. That's, that's why you see so many people doing it in a funhouse maze down at the fair. That's the hottest place you could ever do it. Just say, hey baby, get over here. Let's do it in front of the one that makes me look real skinny. <laughs> but it makes my head look real big. <laughs> And the weirdest thing, the weirdest thing that I saw in the sex hotel was over the bed of the sex hotel. Mounted to the ceiling on chains, there was a swing. There was a swing in there. People are doing it in swings. I didn't know that. It's making me take another hard look at playgrounds. I can tell you that much. I think it's weird they put four of them in a row at the playground. Could we at least get some dividers? Give these kids some privacy for crying out loud? I was alone, so I don't know. How you do it in a swing, I can only guess. My first guess is you put your partner in the swing and then you swing them out and you just hope for the best in the return journey. <laughs> you just line it up like a bar game, trying to get a bullseye, right? <laughs> trying to get a bullseye or also right below the bullseye, there's a second tighter bullseye that some people are okay with. <laughs> I don't know, it's either that or maybe you get in the swing together and then you call the front desk, just like, hey, we're in room 514, could you send someone up? We need a push. <laughs> No underdogs, we're afraid of heights. <laughs> I was alone though, so I don't know if it's fun to have sex in a swing though. I, I can tell you it's a fun place to watch Food Network for a few hours. That's what I ended up doing. I was just in the swing, swinging my little heart out, watching, watching episodes of Be Bobby Flay. Oh, I wonder what the secret ingredient's gonna be today. I hope that it's sweet potatoes. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for coming. You guys have been amazing. Good night.